Hi, in this video, we're going to do a neat little activity to demonstrate the concepts of break type coast, break type break, and break type hold in VEX Coding Studio. Let's start first with a VEX C project. Bring a motor over into our project. We'll call this motor arm and assign the motor to the standard arm port motor for the clawbot, port 8. To the orientation of my robot, I have to reverse this motor to make the arm go up. We're going to bring another motor into our project. I'm going to call this motor claw. And we'll assign that to the standard port for the claw bore. Port 3 for the claw. We're actually going to start this project out with a motor stop. I'm going to have the claw motor stop with a brake type of hold. This will keep the bean bags we're using for this demonstration held tightly in the claw. Next, we want to have a motor spin. And we'll have our arm motor spin forward. We want this to do it for a little bit of a time. So we'll have it sleep for a second, and then we'll want to stop our motor again. We're going to have our arm motor stop and leave the brake type as coast. We'll call this project test coast. save it to our example projects and then we will compile and download to our robot. Now let's see what this program does for us. As you've just saw, with the arm stop set with a brake type of coast, the arm went up, and as soon as the arm stopped, the arm coasted straight back down to the ground. Now let's test the arm stop with a brake type of brake. We'll change this project name to test brake. And we'll assign this to the second spot for our programs. Now let's compile this program and download it to the robot. Let's see what this new version of the program does for our robot. There is definitely a difference between the brake type of coast and the brake type of brake. In the coast brake type, you notice the arm had no power applied to it and just coasted back down to the ground. Now, with the brake type of brake, there is clearly some power applied to the arm to stop it from going up, but not enough power to keep the arm from dropping although you can see it does drop considerably slower. Let's try our last type of brake type and we'll change our program to read hold. We'll change our project name to test hold. and put this into the third program spot. 
Now let's compile and download and see what this last condition does for the arm stop. As you just saw, with brake type hold, there is definitely a difference. In fact, there's a feedback loop that keeps the arm held at the position it stopped, and even if you added more weight to the arm, it would continue to hold at that spot. Hopefully, this activity has helped you understand the concepts of brake type coast, brake type brake, and brake type hold. Now just remember, if you find yourself spinning, you might want to take a little break.